At just over 9,500 hectares, it's the biggest fence of its kind in the Southern Hemisphere. This all goes back to May 2017, when I first come here, had a look around and thought, it's gonna be a big job. It's not an easy task or process to say that you're gonna get rid of every feral predator within that area within a set time. It's intensive, it's hard work, it's long hours, and the team worked tirelessly seven days a week until we had the last fox caught. We caught the last cat at the end of November 2019, and we caught the last fox by February the 20th, 2020. Up until February, there was no seven consecutive days where we didn't see any activity of foxes. For example, a footprint on the roads or a photo on the cameras. Since February, we've maintained the same level of effort in our monitoring stage. We've dragged all the internal tracks at least four times a week. We do fence checks of the total fence line of 42 kilometres three times a week. And we're checking 60 on-road cameras weekly and 14 off-road cameras fortnightly. Since February 2020, there has been zero signs of any activity. There are no footprints, there are no photographs, there are no visual sights of any foxes within the fence. It's this information that gives us the confidence to say that we are 100% feral predator free. We're now happy to hand over all the works to the science team, let them do their translocations and then we'll assist those guys as well in the coming years. The confirmation of introduced predator free status within the fenced area here at Mallee Cliffs National Park effectively gives the green light for us to go ahead with the release of 10 regionally extinct mammals. Uh, these include uh, a range of species such as the western quoll, the red-tailed fascagale, numbat, brush-tailed betong, burrowing betong, greater stickness rat, bilby, western barred bandicoot, Mitchell's hopping mouse and the bridal nail tail wallaby. These types of fenced areas are critical uh, safe havens for these species. They protect them from a range of threats that exist outside of the fence, such as introduced predators like cats and foxes. All of these species used to occur within this region historically, and this fenced area allows them to be reintroduced back into the landscape.